Hello everybody. <laughs> it's bloody horrible weather. It's been peeing down for weeks and weeks. We've had loads of rain and uh, I just can't get out fishing. But I've risked it. I've gone onto my chalk stream and uh, this is what I'm faced with. It's a bit of a sketchy spot. But yeah, I was hoping to fish down there. But yeah, there's way too much, way too much water to fish down there. And normally it's just a bit swirly down there. So yeah, this stretch, this spot is particularly sketchy. There's probably eight foot drop down there, but I think there's gonna be some fish down there. Uh, first thing I've got to check is that my landing net, if I catch anything decent, I had this out in Holland where I couldn't get down to, yeah, I think I could definitely land a fish if we get anything decent. So I've had, I know there's loads and loads of little roach in here, loads of little roach, so we're gonna wade through a lot of those. And uh, there is a few chub, and I've had some nicer roach. And funnily enough, there's four or five bream in here as well that I've seen, but uh, I haven't actually landed one. So let's get the kit. Let's drop in, let's see if we get some. The float I've got is a bit too light as well. <laughs> but it's not, it's not too bad down there. It is quite slack relative but I'm hoping they're all shoulder up down there there's a bite yep got to be a bit careful with this spot trees and stuff so yeah got a little roach there is loads of these in here so I'm almost certainly going to get a pike as well Whoop. another dumpy roach it's funny on this river there aren't many roach but in this particular spot, there are loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. I don't know why they're all in here, but there are a lot of them. This spot also, there's a, it's right near a supermarket. And in a video up here, me and the boys cleared out a load of crap out of here. And I think then there was five shopping trolleys in here. So I'm always a bit anxious. I'm gonna get a shopping trolley in a minute. Here's a slightly better one. I think I might need to net this. What is it? Oh, it's a little chub. <laughs> Here we go, we'll find out whether we can can uh, net these fish or not. It's just a bit too big to swing. But we'll see. Could be some fun and games if I get a really big one. Oh no, yeah, easy peasy. No problem. Oh. <sighs> I've got to be careful not to fall in. It's all right. First uh, little chub of the day. Six ounces, something like that. Got a big gob for a little fish. <laughs> Lovely. Bosh. Another plump roach. There's plenty of fish down there. Just whether uh, yeah, it is a beauty. Ooh whether there's any bigger ones. There'd be bigger ones down there. Somewhere I have been thinking about fishing is as the river comes down there and this hits this water, there's a big back eddy there. And I quite like the look of that. That's a much better fish. I don't know what it is. It's going. Oh, oh, oh no, lost it. Went in the flow and boof. Oh. What was that? Huh. Snap me off. That was a good fish. Hmm. That's encouraging. Shame I lost it. I had the clutch set just a little bit too tight. We rigged up. We've uh, gone up to 012 and I've sat down. I feel a little bit safer now I'm sat down. It's still a very sketchy fishing spot. It's not somewhere you'd want to spend all day. And uh, I've got the camera set up, but I'm worried I'm going to knock it in. <laughs> it's a uh, disaster loaded everywhere. And I've got to watch out for these trees. There is still loads and loads of these little roaches in here. Loads of them. Oh, save me a job. And the wind is really cold. I'm moaning like hell. My wife says I moan a lot. <laughs> but that wind is cold. 
I'd rather not catch loads of little ropes and get my hand wet. But it's nice to get bites. And I can get the, now I'm sat down, I can get the rods lower to the water and the wind's not blowing in and knocking it all over the place. Let's see if we can pull out one of them big chub. Bit of fish. Oh, it's a nice boat. It's just about swimmable. This is where I'll, it'll drop off the wing. Just about swimmable. Yeah. There you go. Best roach. Of, best roach of the day so far. Got a big pike mark on him as well. He's probably six ounces. Just adding a bit more depth each time, trying to hook up a shopping trolley. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to get it to stay on the bottom, and uh, yeah, it doesn't show up the little rope bites very well. But I think if I want to get one of the better fish that are down there, I've got to leave it in the water for as long as possible. And there is a along the crease of where that fast water comes, there is a bit of slower water right under my feet almost and uh, I think there could be some nice fish in there the trouble is it shallows up as I go down there and it's dragging on the bottom and although there's a lot more rubbish down that end here's a better one got in that flow and he's gone. Another hook then, right. Let's step up again. Right, straight through this time. No pissing about. I think a lot of you would say I fish too light. Uh, and maybe you're right, I don't know. I, I used to do match fishing, I like to fish light. I think maggots, you can't, it's a fine line. Um, but I've made a decision quickly to get onto some heavier gear and uh, hopefully land these chub. I'm sure they're chub. But it is quite extreme flow today, so I'm a bit, a bit against it really. I've just lost a half decent fish then on laying on. I put another foot on the line and just held it in that in that slow bit down there and uh, had a nice bite and pulled out a reasonable fish so I might just lay a bit more line on in a minute see what happens with that trouble is that bit down there is not still for very long <laughs> one minute it's still and next minute it's all swirling all over the place it's still now. I suppose water flow is the ultimate chaos theory. It goes all over the place. See, it's nice, almost still there now. Not moving at all. I don't do enough of laying on. I was listening to the Guru podcast up here with about Bob Nudd and Hadrian Whittle about um, laying on and overshotting and just easing the float through. It's something I need to try more often. I quite often just chuck it at them, let it go through at pace. And back winding. Oh, there's a fish there. Look, that was a better fish. That was a, oh, here we go. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> What's this? I'm hopeful it might be a big roach. I'm always hopeful it might be a big, I think it is a big a roach. No, it's a chub. <laughs> That's all right, though. That's all right. We'll take that. Perfect. That was almost like quiver tipping. Right, Mr. Chubby. Come here. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's worth, persever worth persevering. Right. Oh, it's not a massive fish, but 
It's better than nothing. Ugh. It's only about a pound. Might even, might even go that. There you go. Oh, he's a skinny little chub, isn't he? He's been working hard in this flow. But yeah, that was that was good. I'm glad I persevered with that. Or gave that a go. I don't think I'd have caught him otherwise. I might do that again. Here we go, got a gudgeon. <laughs> I love a gudgeon. I haven't caught many gudgeon out of this river. Beautiful things. <laughs> Lovely little gudgeon. Just going to run it back through, taking it, not laying on for any, uh, but stop laying on and just run it through for a few more times. And I'll go back laying on in a bit, mix it up a bit. Oh little tactic I'm just trying to get my head around I've used it a lot of times before or I've used it before but not a lot of times is back winding the float off the reel like this uh, I'm always uh, regular viewers of you will notice that I uh, quite often bump fish as I'm just after I'm striking and clicking over the bail arm this back winding off the reel totally removes that it's a bit like when you're on a centre pin, you're directly on the fish. But it does take a little bit of a nice reel, nice line lay, a nice pull on the float to make sure you're not unreeling a bloody great tangle. But you can just ease it through at a nicer pace or control the pace. Like, uh, come on. Uh, oh, it's going in this flow. Some heavy old rod bumps. It's funny, I've just been backwinding through the float and then I I just thought, right, I'm just gonna run it through at normal pace. And uh yeah, straight away. It's amazing how just a few variations will get your bite. Just gotta keep changing it, keep right. <laughs> I had to do a battery GoPro change during playing that fish. But I did see it happening. I saw it run out of batteries. And uh, the chain's done like on my Roach diaries, where uh, three films and I didn't manage to successfully film any of my decent Roach. <laughs> right, good. Oh, I'm quite pleased with that. It was well, uh, hard one, that chub. It's quite a good chub. Oh, yeah. Chubby chub chub. Oh, I've got a hole in that net. He'll be out of there if I'm not careful. All right. Ooh. Nice. Got loads of magazines gob as per usual. Yeah, nice job. About three pounds, something like that. <laughs> you made me work for it, didn't you? Right. Regular viewers will know I like to leave a chub in the landing net and not put him back. And I was thinking I couldn't do that here, but there's these little posts, and he's just laying in the. He's in the water. Yeah, magic. <laughs> nice. Right. Let's see if we can get a mate to keep him company. Quite enjoying this now. It is cold though. Bollocks, I just dropped my rod in the water and I've hooked myself in the hand and I've got the real rod on back line so I don't know what the f is going to happen here. This could be really messy. Really messy. This is going to be bad. Ugh. Oh, the wheel's just going backwards and backwards. Oh man. Ah. Got the hook in my finger. In my hand. Right. I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna leave the rod down there. It's floated into the corner. I'll let this chub go and then I'll hoik it out and land in it hopefully. Oh, what a plava. <laughs> this could be the end of my day. Ugh. Don't have the reel on back lines. Right, let's 
see if we can save it before it goes. Oh, don't fool in ourselves. Oh man, where's it gone? It's good, good job it's got a cork handle. Bloody lucky. Shit. That would have been really bad. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> right. Could be why the barbie took as well. Because that hook went right in my hand. Ah. Never rains, it pours. Well, after that little drama of dropping my rod in the water and uh, having to net it out, I've hardly had a bite. I've only had one little chub after that. I think it's partly because I had to put the chub back. Never like putting chub back. They always, uh, they're proper gossips. They go telling all their mates, oh, they, oh, oh bite. Uh, yeah, they go telling all their mates, don't go there. It's, fisherman there so uh, yeah I'm getting very close to the end one more fish well one last fish and I have got one last fish and it's a good one I don't know what it is, it's keeping it very deep and swimming upstream. It's really strong. It's not, not being chubby. Yeah. It feels very strange, this fish. Oh, it is a chub. I didn't think that was a chub, but it is. Oh, that's a big one too. Oh, that's a big chub. That's why it felt good. That might go four pounds. It feels bloody heavy. That is a big chub. Big, big chub. Hooks coming out in the net. <laughs> you know what? That might even go five pounds. Bit of struggle to get my hand around him. Which I always think is a sign of a big fish if you can't get your hand around him. It's not. It's probably not. It's probably a good four pounds. But, um, yeah. And that is a proper ending to Paul Vickery Fishing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, nice fish. Cool, let's get back.